Hey, welcome back to the Psalm series. Today we're gonna be reading Psalm 19, God's Witnesses in the Passion Translation. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. God's Witnesses, for the pure and shining one, a poem of praise by King David, his loving servant. God's story in the skies. God's splendor is a tale that is told, written in the stars. Space itself speaks his story through the marvels of the heavens. His truth is on tour in the starry vault of the sky, showing his skill in creation's craftsmanship. Each day gushes out its message to the, to the next, night by night whispering its knowledge to all without a sound, without a word, without a voice being heard. Yet all the world can hear its echo. Everywhere its message goes out. What a heavenly home God has set for the sun, shining in the superdome of the sky. See how he leaves his celestial chamber each morning, radiant as a bridegroom ready for his wedding? Like a day-breaking champion eager to run his course, he rises on one horizon, completing his circuit on the other, warming lives and lands with the heat. God's story in the scriptures. Yahweh's word is perfect in every way. How it revives our souls. Yahweh's laws lead us to truth, and his ways change the simple into wise. Yahweh's teachings are right and make us joyful. His precepts are so pure. Yahweh's commands challenge us to keep close to His heart. The revelation light of His word makes my spirit shine radiant. Yahweh's decrees are trustworthy. The fear of Yahweh is pure, enduring forever. The rarest treasures of life are found in, the, in His truth. That's why God's word is prized, like others prize the finest gold. Sweeter also than honey are his living words, sweet words dripping from the honeycomb. For they warn us, your servants, and keep us from following the wicked way, giving a lifetime guarantee, great success to every obedient soul. How would I discern the waywardness of my heart? Lord, forgive my hidden flaws whenever you find them. Keep cleansing me, God, and keep me from my secret selfish sins. May they never rule over me. For only then will I become free from fault and remain innocent of rebellion. So may the words of my mouth and my meditation thoughts and every movement of my heart be always pure and pleasing, acceptable before your eyes, Yahweh, my only redeemer, my protector. After reading Psalm 19 in the Passion Translation, let's talk a little bit about it. Psalm 19 for me really speaks to creation testifying and glorifying God in of how important it is for us to not only listen to the revelation that God is giving us each and every day, but that we need to keep our eyes open, ears open, read the word of God, open up to God and allow him to heal and um, I guess remove any impurities that we have. There's so much going on um, in our hearts that we don't know about. And so we may think, oh, you know, I don't have any problems. I don't have anything when really all of us have issues. Um, so it's only natural for me that my favorite part of Psalm 19 is gonna be the last bit of scriptures talking about the heart. My thing is I don't want to think that I've got it all figured out and yet God has been trying to show me a thing, you know, and I keep having to go through thing after thing after thing of God trying to get it out of me. And I'm, the, the thing is, is that I'm not even open. So if my heart's not open to God, I feel like I'm not really allowing him to flow in my life and not just flow in me, but to flow in me, to help heal me in areas, work in other areas um, and truly to then be able to flow out of me and to help others. And I believe that that's how God works with us. It's never just about me. It's about, okay, well, God, what do you need me to do for you? What What is it that you want to do through me? All that to say, if I'm not open and I'm not allowing God to work through me, then I just feel like I'm in the way. I'm in the way, kingdom-wise, and, and what God needs me to do. He, okay, so if I'm not gonna be willing to do it, then he's going to get someone else to do it. And so, I, and it's not like a condemnation thing, it's just that sometimes we don't even know what's in our hearts. You know, maybe we've been hurt. Maybe we are carrying hurts that have actually never been healed and we don't know about that. We think we've moved on, but we haven't. 
you know, it could be a whole slew of things that God really wants to bring to our attention, but we're just not aware of it. And if our hearts aren't open, you know, he's not going to force it. God doesn't force anything on us. We actually have to invite him in. You know, that's the whole thing. So I think being aware of that and being aware that you can just think you know it all and you really don't. I mean, that is, ooh. So I think part of walking in humility is keeping an open heart, which is why I love uh, those scriptures. Uh, let me go ahead and read them. How would I discern the waywardness of my heart? And even there, the note says, the word waywardness is taken from the Hebrew word for errors. So how would I discern the errors of my heart? I mean, it's just, we're not always truthful with ourselves. Lord, forgive my hidden flaws whenever you find them. Keep cleansing me, God, and keep me from my secret selfish sins. May they never rule over me. For only then will I be free from fault and remain innocent of rebellion. So may the words of my mouth, my meditation thoughts, and every movement of my heart be always pure and pleasing, acceptable before your eyes, Yahweh, my only redeemer, my protector. In the note, it says, or my rock of protection. And that's the last little bit. That's verses 12 um, through 14. So those last two verses. And I just think that, I mean, so the earlier part of the psalm is talking about how creation testifies to God's goodness and really glorifies God. And then it goes in to say that each day God gives us new revelations every day. Then it goes on to say that we need to continue to be aware, to read the word. And that's why um, when we read the word, it's really confrontational in our spirit because there could be something that we're walking in that we don't even recognize it. I mean, have you ever done something to someone that, you know, you didn't, like in the moment you didn't mean to do that thing, but then later you realized, actually, I think I really wasn't being honest with myself. I think every human being will do this in their lifetime. I mean, we have all done it. And I think that this is what this Psalm is really getting at as well, to just let God work on us and be open to Him every day. And we'll receive new revelation every day. Stay in the Word, you know, and I just, I don't know. I, I love these Psalms because it's just such a good reminder that it's not about doing better or being perfect but it is about allowing God to help us grow. And sometimes, you know, the growing period is not too pretty on the outside, it doesn't look pretty, but um, if we allow God to really work on us, in us, and through us, it, it we can help so many other people, even after we get healed of whatever it is he's trying to, to heal in us, which I believe that speaks to, to God's nature of being relational um, so I don't know I really love this psalm and I think that sometimes reading psalms you can kind of read something and go I don't I don't know if I understand that or what was the point of that but I mean I just feel like that was the point of this psalm but by all means share your take on it what do you think this psalm is about and what scriptures really hit home for you let's go ahead and close out in prayer so my prayer today is that for anyone reading this and, and myself included, that as we read the word of God each day, that we take time, whether it's five minutes, an hour, whatever it is you have, and we just read just a portion of scripture, get it in our hearts and really begin to build that foundation of understanding God as the Father, Jesus as Christ, and the Holy Spirit is our helper. And I really pray that as we build that foundation, God, each day, we are going to hear your new revelations. We will be ready for what it is you put on our heart to do here on earth, and we will be prepared. So sometimes it feels like reading the word of God can feel like a chore and if you're in that place for anyone reading this, because I really feel this, if you feel like it's become a chore or something you're checking off a list, take a moment to really understand why you're reading scripture. Now the Holy Spirit will often put things on our hearts to read. 
And often I think people overlook the Psalms because they think, oh, it's just a Psalm. And hey, listen, I think the gospel is gold. You know, go there to understand Jesus. Absolutely. Do not make, don't mistake that for me. But, um, I think that we also have to listen to the Holy Spirit when we're going through a thing. And I think this is a situation where um, what I'm sensing is just that sometimes someone might be so familiar with the Word of God, they've maybe they've had a long history with God um, and they've kind of had it shoved down their throats or it has just become routine. I just I pray a refreshment over you if that's you in seeking God and what he's saying today because just because you read it yesterday does not mean that it's going to be the same revelation you received today today is a whole new day with a whole new bag of tricks you know what I mean I mean so that is so important to just not get too familiar so yeah I just pray a refreshment over those who have just felt stagnant in reading the word and it's it's I've read this I know this but God I pray just a refreshment in their spirits and um, for a new hunger to read your word and hear what the Holy Spirit is saying today not yesterday not last year what are you saying today in Jesus name amen I do hope that in reading these Psalms together, that this is helpful in getting familiar with the Word of God, but also maybe having some courage in sharing your revelation. Remember, there's really no wrong answer um, as far as what you're understanding from this. There may be questions that you might have, so feel free to ask those too. But this is a safe place. And so, you know, if you like these videos, go ahead and give this a like. If you want to subscribe to see more videos, hit subscribe. I invite you to follow me on Instagram, TikTok, uh, Facebook, as well as here, all under A Touch of Flourish. I hope you have a great week, and I will see you next time to read Psalm 20. <laughs> have a great day. Take care.